Right, okay. Why on earth would people not want to join the military? If you're a young guy, if you were born around 2004, 2005, if you're 18, 19 years old today and you're in the UK and you're a young bloke and you're reasonably savvy and you've got your shit together, work at school and so on, you're out of school, what's happened is that most of you will go to university or at least be going to university shortly. And um, it is baffling to me why young men are doing this. You are wrong to think that the answer for most people is to go to university. The reason why most people go to university today is because it is a cop-out. It's a cop-out. It's just a way to extend the inevitable of going out into the chaos of the world. Now, my argument is that most people shouldn't be going to university. Most people that do go to university, even if they go there willingly and mindfully, they're not actually even interested about what it is that they're going there to study. They have no real interest in doing this. It's a crash. As artificial intelligence replaces all of these jobs, especially middle class jobs, jobs that require a level of technical expertise, these jobs are going to disappear within the next five years. There are people going in today. I suspect that most of the people that go into university today, their job will not even exist by the time they finish school. A lot of technical skills are being taken over by artificial intelligence. If, if you don't think about this, you are an absolute fool. It's the most ridiculous thing. You're getting yourself into debt and wasting three, four years of your life on something that is going to be worthless. And even then, if you did do it, most of the time, it's something that you didn't even really think about too much anyway. You had no real interest in it. So why would you do that? This is very dumb. This is extraordinarily stupid. But that seems to be what most people are doing. My proposal to you is that one of the best things that a young man could do is to join the military. I was in the Royal Marine Reserve in early 2000s. That was a long time ago. And my experience doing that is something that has informed and benefited my life to an almost unbelievable amount. It's, it's my life would never have been the same if I didn't do that. I wouldn't be the kind of person that I became. I wouldn't have done anywhere near as many of, of as many things as I have if I didn't do that. There is a problem with our culture. The culture is a weak culture. Young men know and have a sense, a lot of young men have a sense that they don't want any part of this nonsense. They see everything going on around them and they don't want to be a part of it. It's stupid. If, instead of joining university, you were to go and join the military, you would find that the benefit that you get from spending so three years is the minimum service period. The benefit that you'd get from spending three years in the military would be incalculable compared to getting pissed and stoned, dyeing your hair blue, wandering over LGBTQ flags everywhere, and dealing with all of this nonsense as it all dies out, because it is dying out. You could waste your time doing that on fucking around, or you could spend three years doing something where you emerge out of the other side being smarter, more determined, self-motivated, action-oriented, being able to lead people, being able to have grit and determination, being able to be a good follower, having your shit together, being organised, being on time, standing up straight, knowing how to deal with people, knowing how to work in teams. All of these things are things that you get from being in the military. The military will pay you to study. 
they will pay you. If you want to increase your service term, they will pay you to go to university. They will pay you to get qualifications. You will get paid to get your HGV license. They will pay you to get your driving license. They will pay you to do it. You will make money, not a lot of money, but you will make money, develop skills, and develop yourself in a way that is unachievable outside of that particular institution. Now, I know that it's not for everybody. You are far more likely to die in a car accident on the way to your bullshit Costa Coffee job that you've got after you've gained your geography degree than you are on the killing fields of Afghanistan. The vast majority of people that work in the military are not people that are at the pointy end. That's what people tend to think about when they think about joining the army, the navy, the Royal Marines, and so on. A lot of it is actually not pointy end stuff. The majority of the work is actually support, logistics, technical operations. It is an absolutely unfathomably brilliant move to make, to develop yourself. It is a literal university of personal development. The person that you are today at 18 years old, by the time you are 21 and you were to leave, would be a completely transformed person for the better. And the skills that you would learn, the things that you would take away with you, are things that will stay with you and be valuable forever. They cannot be replaced by a machine. In a world where the generation currently that I'm talking about have grown up staring at their phones, lacking in normal social skills, retarding their growth. The person that goes and spends three or more years in the military instead of university is going to absolutely smash everybody else. It is easy because the rest of the people, the rest of the competition, they're just weak. They're weak. They don't even use their brains. They are mindlessly scrolling. They are mindlessly just following following the old rules, following the old ideas, the things that society expects them to do. Oh, study hard, go to university. It's finished. That time is gone. It is gone. When people talk about, talk and think about this, they inevitably think about risk. And they think, God, you know, it's, I, it, it's too risky. I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to put myself at any risk. The problem with this is that you're assuming that life has little risk. As I've said in other videos before, like one of the most important things for you to understand when you are young, and the sooner you get it, the better, is that you must grasp that bad things are going to happen to you. Things are going to happen to you, and it's the same for everybody. There is no escape from this. Terrible things are going to happen. The job, in particular, of a young man is to be able to understand this and begin to equip himself with the tools and a way of thinking that enables him to cope with difficulty, to do hard things. These are the essential ingredients of a life well lived. It allows you your idea about what it is possible for you to do and your, your self-perception is completely different. It's broadened, it's deepened. You understand about stress and the difficulty of getting things done and the importance of taking action, the importance of the grind and the reward that you get with that. Normal people do not understand this. They just follow. And today they follow more than ever. If after three years in the military, you decide that you want to go to university and you want to study a particular subject, then that person at university will absolutely fucking crush it. You will crush it. 
You will do it because you know with absolute certainty that that's what you want to do and you will approach it in a way that is much more mature because you are a better person. You are better equipped. You are better equipped to tackle whatever it is that life throws at you and be able to go forward and help yourself develop. You're able to go forward and pursue things that you want to pursue with a determination that looking around just literally doesn't exist in your generation it literally doesn't exist elsewhere it is so rare to find somebody like this it's baffling to me how the british military have missed this trick when it comes to recruitment it is probably the single most useful thing the best possible decision that a good let's say 40 percent of young men could ever make if you don't know what to do when you go to university, join the military. Join the military. See if you can get through as an officer. Go to Sandhurst. Go through the training. Join the Navy. Join if you're very physical and you want to do something truly hard, which hopefully you should do. Join the Royal Marines. Join the Parachute Regiment. Get yourself fit. Get yourself strong. Prepare yourself. If you're not up for that sort of thing and you're more technically minded, and join the Royal Air Force or the Royal Navy. Learn technical skills. Learn what it means to be part of a brotherhood. Learn what it means to be part of a real team. Not this bullshit that everybody else talks about. There is a reason why people with a military background, they're different from other people. There is something different about them. They are action-oriented. They don't fuck about. This is this, that's that, let's go, do it. Everybody else is mincing around and so on. The military guy's already done. Fast, more aggressive, more determined, more confident, and in many cases, more socially fluent, especially in the world that we live in today. It's one thing to complain about everything that's going on around you. A lot of you guys look around, and you're right, like I said before, that you know, everything's just gone completely mad. As a young man, you can do something about it, but you need to equip yourself with a foundation of personal development and growth that enables you to create a new culture, a more muscular, positive culture of Western civilization. And this sounds like it's some sort of big hyperbolic thing, but it's not. Your generation is the generation that will shape the shift as we exit this period of absolute stupidity into something that may well be extremely positive. By joining the military, by spending time and challenging yourself, you will emerge equipped to face and help build a better place, no matter what it is that you want to do. Whether it's starting a business or working in a company, you will be a far better employee. You will be a far better entrepreneur. You will be a more successful human. You make the world the way it is. You do, with your decisions, your world, your immediate world, if you like, and there are echoes and consequences to what you do. Don't be one of these guys that looks at this sort of thing and thinks, well, you know, yeah, I might sort of think about that, and you're... you're and then you don't do anything about it. This is fucking pathetic. This is pathetic. This is a consequence of all of the stupidity that you have grown up in. Don't be a pussy. Things are going to get complicated. There's going to be a period of unbelievable change that's coming ahead in the next five years. Do you want to be the dickhead that's stuck studying a bloody geography degree desperately trying to compete with other people with degrees to work in Costa Coffee? Or do you want to be charging ahead, forging the way forward? The skills that you learn are not replaceable by machines. Everybody else is still reading from an old, outdated book. So, I put a few links below to the Navy and the Army. Take a look at some of the stuff on Sandhurst if you're interested in being an officer. Take a look at some of the technical stuff on the RAF website. There's loads of resources out there. Let me know 
If you're interested in any particular branch or something like that, I might be able to help point you in the right direction. And I actually talked to a few people about this and what I'm thinking of doing is I'll do a few other videos in the coming weeks about in, in, this, in this area and probably intersperse it with some of my political sort of rants and so on as well. So don't just sit there like a fucking dummy. Have a look, at least get some idea of what's on offer by the Army, by the Navy, by the Air Force. Because what they can do for you in the world that we live in today is an extremely good deal.